Men what do you understand about women? That they want pockets. This is the only thing I'm certain I know about women. And when they do get pockets they are too damn small. If a woman weighs the same as a duck, then she's made of wood. So, if a woman weighs the same as a duck, the woman is a witch. Nothing at all, besides feed them, hype them up, allow them to have a hoodie of yours, or generally keep them warm, and be prepared to always share fries or sides. If it gets annoying, just remember that she steals your hoodie, because it makes her feel safe, like you're there with her, wrapping your arms around her. I'm never annoyed by it. It also smells like me. Apparently I wear a pretty uncommon scented oil that drives them nuts. They are fascinated by balls and penis. Every post about women asking men stuff is filled with women asking men how balls and penis work. My favorite went something like, if you can flex your penis to make it move, why not your balls? Which makes me upset, because now I want the ability to flex my balls. They breathe sometimes, not the women I sleep with. Period suck. Birth control too. Sounds terrible. Indeed, I spent years taking contraceptive pills, and it was horrible. Birth control is poison point I hate taking it. It makes me insanely moody with no libido. That they aren't one universal hive mind, and they all want different things from life, work, people, etc. That they aren't one universal hive mind. I dunno, that whole menstrual sinking thing is some hive mind shit. This has more to do with experiencing similar levels of stress and environment. So women who work together, and are experiencing same work and stress will sink sometimes. There's more to it, but that's the TLDR. Just our bodies adapting to similar conditions. A lot of times they just want a listening ear they don't want solutions or help. I just ask my kids and wife directly, am I listening or helping? Then we are on the same page. They have complicated relationships with their mothers. Okay if there's one thing that Reddit has taught me, it is that, if you want to make them happy offer them a charcuterie reboard every single Reddit thread I have seen dedicated to this, and similar topics indicates, that you should offer them cheese however a charcuterie reboard is an upgraded version. Can I get a confirmation on this being accurate? Woman here. I wouldn't be upset at it. This answer made me lol. Like, why not? I mean, it can't make things worse. Bring the board and a bottle of wine and there isn't much I could be mad about. Ha ha ha. That most of them don't want to be spoken to like they're a completely different kind of animal solely made for pumping out new people. I already hate it when someone asks me if I've had kids yet or I'm gonna. I can't imagine being a lady and someone asking me that mess. Nobody likes being treated different because of your differences. This is very true kind of veering off, but on the same train of thought, I had a much older male client come into my work the other day, and say to me I just wish I could invent a woman, that stays 27 forever and laughed, I guess thinking I'd find it funny too. It's been a real shock to realize, that the same men I played with in grade school now tend to look at me, and think of me as a baby maker or sex object, and the fact, that I have personhood and individual traits is beside the point. Thanks for this comment. It's a really weird and hurtful part of womanhood. They aren't a monolith. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and to have a great day.